Hi guys, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Office at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and this short video is going to detail how to calculate the Pearson Product Moment Correlation Coefficient, or simply the Pearson Correlation Coefficient. To calculate the Pearson Correlation Coefficient, we have a formula that will, uh, that will guide us through the steps. Uh, the formula for the Pearson Correlation Coefficient is simply R is equal to n times the sum of the xy's minus the sum of the x's times the sum of the y's divided by n times the sum of the x squareds minus the sum of the x's all to be squared times n times the sum of the y squareds minus the sum of the y's all to be squared and it's the square root of that particular term. Mm -hmm. So the formula looks very, very complicated looking, but I suppose it's made up of a number of parts. It's simply a fraction where we have a numerator and a denominator. The numerator is made up of two terms. We have n, which represents the number of paired observations. In our case, we have nine paired observations. Uh, sigma xy represents the product of the independent and dependent variables. Uh, minus sigma x is the sum of the independent variables times sigma y, the sum of the dependent variable. Also inside the formula, we're required to calculate the square of each of our independent variable values and sum those up. Uh, and also the square of each of our dependent variable values and to perform a summation of them. Okay, so in this particular situation, uh, we've got nine paired observations on two stocks. Uh, the first stock is Dragon Isle, and the second stock is Ryanair. And from our perspective, we can consider Dragon Isle to be the independent variable, and Ryanair to be the dependent variable. So Dragon Isle is our X values, and Ryanair would be our Y values. Okay. Uh, so for Dragon Oil, you can see that in the first month, the share price or the return uh, on that particular stock was 5%. And the second month was 7%, 2%, 5.5%, 6%, 6.5%, .5, and so on and so forth. And in the same month... Uh, of Ryanair, uh, for Ryanair, the return was 9% in month 1, 6% in month 2, 1% in month 3, and so on and so forth. Okay. In a previous video, we've taken an independent and dependent variable and we've plotted a, we've plotted a scatter plot uh, to represent, I suppose, a graphical representation of the relationship between the two variables. And maybe you can look back to one of the previous uh, uh, the previous videos in this series uh, to see that. But at this, uh, for this particular video, we're just interested in calculating a numerical measure of the magnitude of association between Dragon Oil and Ryanair share prices. Okay, this formula looks complicated. There's many different versions of this formula, uh, but this one is probably the easiest one to use and requires less calculations uh, when it comes to constructing our table. So, what we need to do is we need to create a column called x squared in our table, which is simply going to be the square of our independent variable values. So, when x is 5, x squared is going to be 25. When x is 7, x squared is going to be 49. When x is 2, x squared is 4. When it's 5.5, x squared is 30.25. When, when x is 6, x squared is 36. When it's 6.5, x squared is 42.25. When it's 5, it's 25. When it's 6, x squared is 36. And when it's 7.5, x squared is is 56.25. Okay, so we've just constructed our x squared column. Okay. And then what we need to do is we need to construct a y squared column to represent the square of each of the dependent variables. Uh, so we take the first dependent variable, 9. 9 squared is 81. We take the next, 6. 6 squared is 36. We take the next, 1. 1 squared is 1. Take the next, 8. 8 squared is 64. 7.2 squared is 51.84, 6.5 squared is 42.25, 7 squared is 49, 6 squared is 26, and 4.5 4 .4, 4 squared is 20.25.
Okay, we're nearly there. And now what we need to calculate for this particular formula is we need to calculate the products of the x's and the y's. So we need to take each x observation and multiply it by each y or its corresponding y observation. Uh, so we take 5 and multiply it by 9. So we have our x, y column. 5 times 9 is 45. 7 times 6 is 42. 2 times 1 is 2. 5.5 times 8 is 44, 6 times 7.2 is 43.2, 6.5 times 6.5 is 42.25, 5 times 7 is 35, 6 times 6 is 26, and finally 7.5 times 4.5 is 43.75. Okay. And now what we do is we sum up all of our columns to give us the sigma value for that particular column. So for example, sigma x is the sum of the x column. And when we sum up these nine values here, we end up with 50.5. Sigma y is the sum of the y column, which gives us 55.2. Sigma x squared is the sum of the x squared column, which is 303. 0.75. Sigma y squared is the sum of the y squared column, which is 381.34. And sigma xy is the sum of the xy column, which is 323.2. Now we have all our values. Okay, so this value here is sigma x, this is sigma y, this is sigma x squared, this is sigma y squared, and this value here is sigma xy. Okay, so we take each one of those five values and we substitute them into our formula, and we will arrive at the, the value or the magnitude of the association between Dragon Isle share price, share returns, and Ryanair returns. So what I'll do is I'll just go to a new sheet, and we'll do this calculation. Okay, so what I said previously is that R is equal to N times the sum of the X, Y's minus the sum of the X's times the sum of the Y's divided by, we have N times the sum of the X squared values minus the sum of the X's all to be squared times N times the sum of the Y squared values minus the sum of the Y's all to be squared, and it's the square root of that particular term, or that particular product. Okay, so let's do our substitution. So R is, don't forget we have a fraction here, where we have a numerator and a denominator, so let's do the numerator first. So N is the number of paired observations that we have, and the number of paired observations is the number of rows in our table. So N is equal to nine. And that's been multiplied by sigma xy. And sigma xy is simply the sum of the xy column, which is 323.2. So that's times 323.2. And what we have to take away from that is the sum of the x column, sigma x. Well, sigma x is 50.5. So we take away 50.5, multiply by the sum of the y's. The sum of the y's is 55.2. So we put in 55.2. And this particular uh, difference between two products will be the numerator for the correlation coefficient. Okay, let's concentrate on these two factors here. So let's concentrate on the left one. Uh, once again, it's n, which is six, times the sum of the x squared. So now that's important that it's the x squared column that we substitute in here, which is 303.75. So it's 303.75 minus the sum of the x's all to be squared. So that's the sum of the x column. So the sum of the x column is 50.5. So it's 50.5 to be squared. And that's to be multiplied by n which is six times the sum of the y squared column. The sum of the y squared column is 381.34. So it's 381.34 minus the sum of the y's all to be squared. 
Now we have already substituted into some of the y's and that was 55.2. So it's 55.2 to be squared. And it's the square root. 